Arrests near campus are going down. West Lafayette police arrested five people this past weekend compared to the six arrests made the previous home game weekend. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports the downward trend is the result of changes in the police force and at Purdue University. The number of people coming out to Breakfast Club is rising. West Lafayette police are meeting the incline by adding more foot patrols in the village area during home football weekends. But where one number is going up, another is coming down. Last football weekend, uh, six custodial arrests, and then this past weekend, uh, five custodial arrests, some of the lowest numbers and in incidents that we've that we've seen maybe ever. This weekend's Purdue Central Michigan game was the first game of the year not played on a holiday weekend, but the arrest number was down by one compared to the previous game weekend. Police Chief Jason Domkowski says when he started with the force 20 years ago, game weekends would net several dozen arrests. But he says along with adding more foot patrols, the department is taking a safety first approach. We also solve problems differently. Instead of uh, the handcuffs being the first thing that come out to solve a problem, uh, we've asked our officers to um, solve problems in a different way. And a lot of times that, that means getting somebody home. First and foremost, we can give credit to all of us that are working on alcohol issues in, on campus and in the community. But first and foremost, the, the, the credit goes to the students. Purdue Student Wellness Office Health Advocacy Coordinator Tammy Lowe says her office and the police department have stepped up alcohol education for students. Every new or transfer student has to complete an online alcohol education course. But Lowe says the students at Purdue are different than they were 10 years ago. I think they are much more academically focused. I think that they are in the, the majors are very, very difficult for them. And now they know in a competitive job market what the risks are if they get into trouble. Last year, President Mitch Daniels said the incoming freshman class had the highest GPA of any class admitted into the school. Domkowski says the increased forces will remain in the village, especially as the crowds are expected to get larger when Big Ten schools come to town. In West Lafayette, Kelly Roberts, News 18.